all right we're back with the 501a and today I want to talk about the 501a behavior firmware and tips on how to treat your 501a to have a safe flying right so today I'm gonna be going over a few things first I want to be go over the propellers the other day I was flying my drone and out of nowhere mid-air my drone just fell out the sky right and when I seen it the good thing about where it fell it fell in the grass and the fell and it didn't take no damage right but I came to look at I think my propellers or blades they actually for some reason they actually came out of mid-air I don't know I don't know because I crashed it and I wasn't paying attention to the blades but the blades can actually can actually come off I mean I don't know this is a good plastic so I don't know I don't know what happened I just all I know I was it was flying and I, next thing I know it just fell off and then when I got it this there was no blades so I, I, I you know Hudson gave you a few blades so I put my extra blades on right so when you're flying, I, b I believe when you're flying, I would make sure that to, to have a stable flyer, make sure that your blades are aligned with each other like this way. And if you turn the, uh, the blade that way, make sure it is aligned with each other like this way, you know? If you're looking at it this way like that, make sure it's aligned, make sure because that can determine if your blade is out of place and it also has a, a, a real a real effect on your flight if you, one of your blades or one of your motors are bent or your legs are bent because it really have an effect so once you could do this you, you probably could say oh yeah my blades are great okay that's another thing so I have this comb here because as you can see my you can see right here this has taken a beating from the, the material hubs and give gave us you know did they give you like this this wrench I'm not even use it I'm not throw it away because it's actually doing more bad than good so I use this I use this I, I would put it I would put it in here like 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 so let me show you it makes this is a bendable um comb that like my girl left around and I just took it because she has so much combs. <laughs> um, all right, so I use this to, 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 you know, to take it out. So this is an A. You, I would go this way because depending on, on how, oh, sorry for that, depending on how, um, anyway, you get the idea, right? If I put this in like this, and I turn this this way, yeah, the um the comb would bend or whatever, but it would come off. But you get the whole point. Use some plastic. Do not use that metal stuff because you you have a bad you have you will have, you will have this. You don't want to have that, you know. But if you want to see me take it out with this comb, let me show. you. Yeah. All right. So don't use that metal thing that Hubson gave you because it actually will actually will um, mess up your the, uh, motors. You don't want to chip off your motor to the point where it's turning and it's not turning the top. So be careful with that. And another thing I want to do. So today I really wanted to talk about what I really want to talk about today was firm FC firmware behaviors this is what I really want to talk about so I came up with a, a few tips of each firmware the 1.1.36 the 1.1.38 1 
and the 1.1.41. So the 1.1.36 is actually good, but doesn't connect to the transmission to this, this transmitter very well. It connects, but it has a hard time connecting. I have connected to it, but it can get off connection sometimes. So that is the problem with this. Also, with 1.1.36, if you use this, you can lose your drone. Do you know that? Because this 1.1.36 advanced, it's for advanced, it's actually only made for this. Believe it or not. It is the behavior. It's actually made for this. So 1.1.36 is good, but it doesn't connect to transmission transmit it very well it is also unstable but it works 1.136 right um also 1.136 also has the hard landing i don't know the other one doesn't have too much of a hard landing but 11.36 has a very very hard landing it's so hard that I don't recommend it landing. You should just land it yourself. So, 11.36 is okay. Most people that buys it comes with this. This is like I think this is was the first firmware for Hubson. I'm not sure for 501A. So, that is probably why. So, now this is the firmware that Hubson right now has on the support site the hubson site actually 11.38 so 11.38 is really dependable depend it's really dependable right also it connects to remote well it connects to the remote. It connects to this very well. So, but oh yeah, one thing one one point three six. I wanted to mention that one one point three six doesn't have follow me. No follow me. No follow me. No follow me. One one point three eight also doesn't have no follow me. Um, but 11.38 is very, like, trustworthy. Very trustworthy, reliable, dependable. It is that. One point. That's the one that they're giving you. It also is fast. It's very fast. It gives you 20 minutes. 15 to 20 minutes flight time. This is awesome, just to let you know. Both of these, it's kind of like the same, but this one, 11.36, has issues, right? And now, 11.41, which uh, they haven't produced. It's in better mode right now. It's in better mode. So it's not finished. It's in production, but I guess it's finished because they can't put it out because I already got the, the software. But this was made because a lot of people wanted follow me so bad. And I guess a lot of people was didn't get it. So follow me. This also has image, image stability. Right? Um, what else this has? And it's smooth. It's smooth. So, so, it, all in all, one one point four one is. I think it's for photography. Photography. That is what one one point one was made for. Photography for smooth inch, image stabilization. Follow me. That was with the base thing for one one point four one. That's the whole scenario for 11.41. But I have issues with 11.41, 1 
right i know i tell you i have my videos that all these other function work but something i don't know because it's in better mode that's why hubson is not putting it out something i don't know about 1.41 1 it is it lo loses control a lot it loses control a lot a lot a lot to your transmitter it's very bad with connection so i could say bad with connection bad with connection right so this is this i think this is for photography this one is for everyone and this one of course is for advanced so advanced because it only works with the app and um, certain features that you would need with the app this one here um, 11.8 1, 1 is the dependable one this is why this is the only one that Hubson is given now because although all of them have their issues this is the most reliable one so that's why Hubson is doing putting this out this one here is it has issues so that's why it's in better mode so it but if you had doing a photography if you do a photography right this is the one you use because it stabilizes your image it has followed me this is the best one to use if you're doing photography but i recommend if you use this one to always keep this by because when you lose control of this this hubson sometimes will react different it can react to a lot of things it can react to your return home or it can react to let's say somebody else wi-fi so always if you haven't if you have one phone point four one make sure you always you have to have one of these because you never know have one of these nearby all right a standard transmitter or what's the other one the advanced transmitter i'm not sure i just got the standard one because it's better just have this one nearby and another one advantage of the of the disadvantage of the 11.41 1, 1. it is it has low range it has low range but the 11.38 1, 1. it has high range which mean what i mean by they both probably have the same range but the 1138 1, connects better long at long range the 114 range the 44 doesn't connect too too well at long range i have i've been sometimes at 1138 1, i've connected through trees i couldn't even see it and i have great fpv so overall this one is the best and that is why hubson is only putting out 11.38 1, 1. it actually has it but it doesn't have no follow me but they know the most important thing is you getting your drone back which is really most important regardless if these don't work or not you don't want to lose your drone right so this is the one to have okay 11.38 1, 1. now if you're into photography I, if you're getting this um, firmware, I recommend getting an, an extra transmitter just to be safe and also keep it in the line of sight. Do not, do not keep it off sight because you can lose it like that. And that's the behavior from my understanding, my experience of the flight controls, the three flight controls of the 501A. There you go. Thank you for watching.